two of the world's most advanced jets, but even their fuselages do not agree. Boeing went full carbon barrels, Airbus stuck with panels and frames, which design really wins. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner was the first airliner built with a full composite fuselage. Around 50% of its structure is carbon fibre reinforced plastic, including entire one-piece barrel sections and its flexible wing. The Airbus A350 also leans heavily on composites, 53% of the structure, but it uses a panel and frame approach. Large carbon panels are fastened to frames alongside titanium and aluminium lithium alloys to balance strength and weight. Boeing's one-piece barrels reduce fasteners and seams, boosting strength and cutting weight. Airbus chose panels for easier inspection, repair and replacement, a nod to maintenance crews who live with these jets for decades. Both designs slash weight compared to aluminium, improving fuel burn and range, but their philosophies divide pilots, engineers and airlines. Is it better to have a seamless composite tube or a modular structure that is easier to fix? So who nailed the composite era? Boeing with its all-in barrels or Airbus with panels built to be repaired? The debate is yours.